Telmisartan is one of the medication which is classified as angiotensin 2 receptor blocker. Here you can identify the suffix sartan which indicates it is an ARB. Medications ending with the suffix sartan are classified as ARBs and among them telmisartan is one of the medication that is indicated for the treatment of hypertension. This medication can reduce the activity of angiotensin 2 therefore it can reduce the vasoconstriction produced by this mediator. This reduces the blood pressure thereby it improves the symptoms of hypertension. Telmisartan is available as a tablet for treating hypertension and it is well known with brand name Micardis. This medication can also be used for reducing the cardiovascular complications. In people with elevated blood pressure, the risk of cardiovascular complications are enhanced. And in people with chronic hypertension, cardiovascular risk is also increased when it is combined with any other factors like elevated levels of cholesterol, it may lead to fatal conditions. It may produce atherosclerosis, blocking the arteries, which further increase the cardiovascular risk. Therefore, it is highly essential to reduce cardiovascular risk by controlling the blood pressure. Normally, AC inhibitors can be used to reduce the cardiovascular risk, but in a few people, these AC inhibitors are not tolerable. In such conditions, ARBs like Telmisartan can be used. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the key facts about this medication, like how this medication works, what is the doses and how it should be taken, what are the important precautions, side effects, all such things we will discuss in this video. Now let us see the doses of this medication. Telmisartan is available as a tablet at different strengths such as 20 mg, 40 mg and 80 mg. When it is used for treating hypertension, it can be started at a dose of 40 mg per day initially. The dose may be slowly increased based on the clinical response and the dose may be either increased or decreased such that the maintenance dose is 20 to 80 mg per day. However, the antihypertensive effect of this medication cannot be observed immediately. A stable reduction in the blood pressure can be observed within two weeks of the treatment and after four weeks the maximum reduction can be observed. The dose can also be modified in people with few existing conditions, particularly in people with volume depletion, a low dose of 20 mg may be used. However, the maximum dose is the 80 mg per day. In case of more reduction in the blood pressure is required, a diuretic can be combined with telmisartan. Generally, diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide or chlorothaladone can be combined with telmisartan. Another use of telmisartan is to reduce the cardiovascular risk. In people with elevated levels of cardiovascular risk, telmisartan can be used at a dose of 80 mg per day, particularly in the people who are unable to take AC inhibitors. Now, let us see the precautions of this medication. Telmisartan can produce another condition, hyperkalemia elevated levels of potassium in the body. Hyperkalemia results in the elevation of potassium levels above 5.5 millimoles per liter. Potassium is one of the important electrolyte that plays an important role in controlling the functions of neurons, muscles and even the heart. When its levels are going to be elevated, it may produce some impairment in these functions. People may have few symptoms like muscle weakness, palpitations, chest pain, difficulty breathing, particularly ARBs can interfere with the kidney's function and they reduce the excretion of potassium. This may result in the more retention of potassium in the body leading to hyperkalemia. Particularly this is more pronounced in people with the impaired kidney function or pre-existing diabetes. Telmisartan should not be used in the people with bilateral artery stenosis. It is one of the condition where both of the arteries connected to the kidneys are narrowed, leading to decreased blood flow. When angiotensin receptor blockers are used in the people with bilateral artery stenosis, it may result in acute kidney injury. This may result in the sudden decline in the kidney function and it may also lead to severe life-threatening complications. That's why in people with bilateral artery stenosis, angiotensin receptor blockers should not be used. This medication is teratogenic 
therefore it should not be given to the pregnant woman it can produce a fatal injury or even death that's why in the pregnant woman this medication should be avoided tell me sartan can produce dizziness and lightheadedness this is common with arbs and it can be observed even with first dose of this treatment they can also produce fatigue where people may have feel tired headache is another common side effect even though rare it can produce dry cough due to accumulation of bradykinin however this dry cough is more pronounced with ac inhibitors tell me sartan can also increase the potassium levels leading to hyperkalemia which may produce rapid heartbeats and muscle weakness few of the hypersensitive reactions like angioedema may also be possible leading to swelling of face tongue and throat however this angioedema is less pronounced compared with ac inhibitors hypotension is another important side effect that is more pronounced in people with volume depletion let us see how this medication works tell me sartan works by inhibiting renin angiotensin system its main action is on the one of the potent vasoconstrictor angiotensin 2 tell me sartan acts as an antagonist at angiotensin 2 receptors it blocks the actions of angiotensin 2 these medications can reduce the blood pressure by inhibiting the actions of angiotensin 2 this reduces the vasoconstriction produced by angiotensin 2 leading to decrease in the blood pressure thereby it reduces the cardiac work and increases its efficiency tell me sartan can also reduce the secretion of aldosterone which is one of the hormone that is responsible for reabsorption of sodium into the body therefore tell me sartan can reduce the sodium retention and reduces the body volume this also improves the pumping efficiency of the heart thereby it relieves the symptoms of heart failure tell me sartan can reduce the blood pressure by blocking the effects of angiotensin 2 as the blood pressure is reduced the workload on the kidneys is reduced that increases the filtering capacity as well as it can prevent further kidney damage so that's all about this medication tell me sartan tell me sartan is a angiotensin 2 receptor blocker which can be identified by its suffix sartan and this medication can be used to control the hypertension as well as it can reduce the cardiovascular risk by inhibiting the renin angiotensin system this medication can produce hypotension as one of the important side effect which should be carefully monitored elevated levels of potassium can also be observed with the chronic use of telmisartan so that's all about this medication telmisartan i hope this video is useful to you if you really like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thanks for watching see you in the next video